All right, welcome back. So here's what we're going to be adding today. It's a little effect where when we attack our enemy, we get to knock them back. And we're using the physics system for that, so we can knock them into uh, environmental things. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's dive right in. All right, so here's where we left off. Uh, we have our uh, little game running here, and I can run into my little tree, and it will follow me, and then it'll stop within a certain range. And if I go out of its range, it stops following. So what we're going to be adding today is uh, a knockback feature. So the main idea that we want to do here is I already have a system where I can create my uh, little damage box. What I want to happen is when that damage box occurs, I want to find a difference between the player's center position and the log center position, and then knock the log back on a vector, which is the difference between those two, and then multiply it by some sort of knockback force. So that's what we're going to be dealing with now, is the ability to knock the enemy back. So uh, let's get started here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to create a new script a new C-sharp script, and I'm going to call this knockback. And I'm going to open that up in my editor. And I don't have Visual Studio open, so it's going to take a hot 30 seconds for that to open up, so I'll meet you back here. Okay, so the main idea that we're going to be using here is the ability to add force to a 2D rigid body. And if you take a look in Unity's documentation, uh, we're going to be using rigidbody2d.addForce. Um, and then this requires you to do add force, tell it what force to add, and then what force mode. Uh, the 2D force modes that you can possibly have here do, do, do. Um, impulse is essentially what we want to do. Uh, impulse is an instant force uh, that uses its mass, but we're not going to be changing the mass of objects too much here. So the first thing I want to do is up here where I put my global variables, I'm gonna add something uh, to describe how much force I want the player to give. So I'm gonna call this a public, um, we'll do uh, float, and we'll call it uh, thrust, which is gonna represent the force that our character knocks things back. I'm making it public like this so that we can change it later on, depending on if you get pickups or weapons or if you want to do like a stat system and have the amount of knockback knock back your player gives to enemies be dependent on that. So what I want to do in this is I want to check to see if uh, an enemy has entered our trigger area. So we're going to do void on uh, trigger enter. Oop, we don't want to do that one. We want to do the 2D version. Why didn't you know exactly what I wanted, IntelliSense? private void on trigger enter 2D. There we go. And I like to change it from collider 2D collision to collider 2D other for no real good reason, just because that's what I like. Now what we want to do is we want to check to see first if that object is on a layer. So in Unity here, I'm going to go to my log and I'm going to make sure that I have my log on uh, a specific layer. Actually, let's do tags. I'm going to put my um, enemy on a tag for enemies, so any, wow. sometimes words just look weird when they're spelled, that is how you spell an enemy, so, alright, cool, and I spelled it with lowercase, so I'm going to need to remember that, no, I do not want to do that right now, okay, so uh, what I want to do is I want to check to see if other dot, good lord, I'm too used to Python, other dot tag, is equal to, actually I don't want to do other.tag, I want to do other.gameobject.compare tag, and I want to compare it to enemy. This is more efficient. Um, if you do if other.tag is equal to, uh, I'm not quite sure why, but because you're not telling it specifically what tag to look for, um, it's less efficient than if you use compare tag and it knows what tag to look for right away. So, um, if the other is uh, enemy, then I'm going to do a few things to it. So 
The first thing is I want to affect the rigid body system. So right now this little duder is kinematic, which means that uh, forces applied to him or her uh, are going to be um, disregarded unless they're coming from a script. So I'm going to turn it from kinematic to dynamic, and then once it's dynamic, I'll add force to it, and then I'll turn it back to kinematic. So how that's going to work, I'm going to do, uh, first I'm going to declare a rigid body. So I'm going to say uh, rigid body 2D. I'm going to call this enemy equals uh, other dot get component rigid body 2D. Uh, and then I want to check to see if there is a rigid body there. So if, good lord, enemy is not equal to null, so that I don't have to worry about those null reference exception errors. Somebody asked me why I don't do um, a catch statement for this, and it's just because that's, I'm, I'm just used to not doing that because of the kids I teach, but um, I mean, I guess you could do a catch instead of this, but I don't necessarily know that it's any more efficient. Anyway, so if enemy isn't null, so meaning if they have a rigid body, then uh, I'm going to say enemy dot is kinematic equals false. And then I'm going to apply the force. So first I want to find the difference between the two of us. So vector two, I'm going to call this difference is equal to, oops, transform dot position. Um, we'll do the enemies minus ours. I think that's the right way. Uh, enemy dot transform dot position minus transform dot position. Uh, and then I want, I want this to be casted as a vector too. So, oops. Because otherwise, since I'm using transform dot position, it's going to not what I meant to do. It's going to uh, default to be a vector three, which I guess is fine. I don't need to worry about the z direction. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to find the difference, and then I'm going to normalize the difference and multiply it by the thrust. So difference equals difference dot normalized times thrust. Normalizing the vector means that you're turning it into a vector that has a length of one. We did this when we were um, modifying our movement script to make sure that our player wasn't moving too fast in a diagonal direction. Uh, and now I'm going to do enemy dot add force. And the force I want to add is difference and the force mode is force mode 2d dot impulse Oop, no not dot force dot impulse and then i want to turn the kinematic back so enemy dot is kinematic equals true i think that should be fine we might need to do that in a coroutine so all right i'm going to save this I'm going to go back into Unity here. Um, <laughs> choose our player. Let's get rid of rigid body. Box color, or not get rid of it, but window shade it. Uh, we'll do the same thing to, maybe? There we go. Box collider, movement, animator. Oh yeah, I, keep, I need to come back to this emotion stuff. Okay, don't don't worry about that now. We'll, we'll come back to that. That's something that I thought was kind of cool. Um, Okay, so knockback, and I'm going to give a knockback of five. Um, all right, so let's just dive right in and see what I broke. Uh, okay, cool. So let's go over to my... <sighs> Holy cow, that's way too much thrust. Uh, okay, so let's do like... Oh, that's why. Okay, because it's not, it's not stopping. So... Hmm. I want it to I want it to be able to stop itself. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tone down my thrust. Let's go into Visual Studio here. I don't need 
updater start. So I might as well get rid of those right now. Um, yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay, so sorry about that weird cut. Uh, my significant other got home with groceries. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit of time that I want the knock back to last. So this is going to be a public float. I'll call this knock time. And I'm going to start a little I enumerator here, a little coroutine. So I'm going to say a uh, private I enumerator. I'm going to call this knock co and this is going to take an argument it's going to require a rigid body 2d to be passed into it rigid body 2d we'll call this enemy and um let's make sure the enemy doesn't die between when we apply the knockback and when we get here so i'm going to say if enemy is good lord with the parentheses again if enemy is not equal to null, then um, I'm going to uh, start my little timer. So I'm going to yield. Wow, man, I cannot spell today. Return new wait for seconds, and I want to wait the knock time. And then after that, I'm going to set their velocity to zero, and then set them back to is kinematic is true. So I'm going to say um, enemy.velocity equals zero, vector2.0, and then um, enemy.is kinematic is true. Okay. And then instead of setting it to is kinematic here, I'm just going to start that coroutine. So start coroutine, and I want to start knock co. Um, oh yeah, I need to tell it what to use. It's going to use enemy. Okay, cool. Let's um, let's save this. Let's pop back into Unity here. Sorry this video isn't as polished as the other ones have been. Um, I'm doing this on a Sunday after I just graded a whole bunch of papers, so... <laughs> I wanted something to play with, but I didn't want to play with it myself and then make my video. So, apologies for this not being quite as polished as it usually is. So, I've got my thrust at 2, I've got my knock time at 0.2, because I want it to be pretty short. Um, yeah, let's give it a try. So let's hit play. And uh, that's better. So, okay, let's make our let's make our knock time a little bit more. Let's double it, just as a rule of thumb. And let's make our thrust bigger. Let's go back to five. There we go. That's not too bad. Let's try it from the other side now. And from up above. Cool. That's actually feeling really good. We could have an animation with this that we could trigger in that same place where we're creating the knockback. And then when we add a health system to him, which is what we're going to do really, really soon here, we can trigger that here too, taking damage. So that, that actually feels pretty good. All right, cool. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description down below. Um, you can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post new videos. You can join my Discord where I'm chatting every day. We got a pretty cool community going on there. Um, yeah, and I've, I've caught up to, so I had made a whole bunch of videos ahead of time and I've caught up to where I was. So the, f um, the uh, whatever, speed of the videos is gonna slow down a little. I'm still gonna try to get two out a week. Uh, in this series. So there's one today and I'll try to get one out tomorrow. Um, and then the next ones will come on the weekend ish. I don't want to like tie myself to that, but new videos in this series are going to be in the weekend and I'm going to try to go for two a week. Um, yeah, feel free to leave me any, any rage you have about that in the comments down below. But yeah, um, everybody have yourselves a wonderful day.